Here's a second and two now from the 33. 65, 20. Get him. Newton. And he will find the open man. It's DJ Moore. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 14 yards, good for a Panther first down. It's a nice completion, a little bit of run after catch as well to create the yardage that they got. But it is so tough to cover that route, the drag route, because they run it at varying speeds because the key is to create hesitancy on the defender's part. Always so empathetic for those DBs, aren't you? On first down, this is McCaffrey. He'll get three up to midfield. What's the old expression? Three yards in a cloud of dust? In this case, it's dust-covered pellets. It's no longer that old grass that we used to play on right and chew it up. Now we've got that artificial surface. You see the pellets go up. Still a nice play by the defense. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. From the 50, Newton. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. 14 yards, good for a Panther first down. I like the screen being called here early in the game, especially on the opening drive, because, Brandon, when guys come out of the locker room, especially those pass rushers, they are so amped up to get to the quarterback that you can use that against them, and a screen pass is a great way of doing it. A lot of teams against good pass rushing teams, they want to run the screen 10 to 12 times in a game. Here go, here go. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Newton going to hand it off to McCaffrey. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling, and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. Four yards, the pickup, first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. Newton on first down. And he will find Davis. That's complete. Nothing on that one. It'll be second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. And the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and ten. Back to throw, Newton. And he's got the hook up to Moore. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. Call that a loss of five yards on the play. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. Look at that. Look at it. A shotgun snap for Newton. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. That's a good job there creating the contact to force the incompletion. And now since it's fourth down, that should set up a field goal situation. And a nice sigh of relief defensively to be able to hold them to three. And this one looks good. It is good. Right down the pipe. And the Panthers stake claim to a 3-0 lead. Able to move the ball on that drive. Yes, just three points, but four first downs were in there. Yeah, and you can look at it and feel pretty good about the whole thing and think, okay, this should continue throughout this ball game. On the flip side, if you're a defender, it's almost like whew, we only gave up three. They moved the ball on us pretty well. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Ready. 
Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their 25-yard line. And the former Heisman winner, this is Mark Ingram. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. A gain of three, second down. Brings up second and seven at the 28-yard line. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Here's Jackson to throw. Flushed out right. And he fires one that's intercepted. Dante Jackson picks it. And he will score. Touchdown, Panthers. So a pick six there out of the nickel package. They went with five DBs. Almost becoming the base package in the NFL is the nickel. Hard to throw against. That was demonstrated one more time. A pick six going the other way. Extra point right down the middle. And the lead grows to 10 0. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback and it comes. Out to the 25 yard line. Two down 10 nothing early as they've got it first and 10. The drive starts here with a carry by Ingram. And he'll wind up with about six, up past the 30 to the 31. Well, you're down early. How do you get back in the game, maybe establish the run? I think they're trying to do that. Now I'm with you on that one, and what I like about the message is that there's no panic from the head coach. He's already told his offensive coordinator, let's run the football, let's get things settled down a little bit and find our way back into this game. From the 31, Jackson escaping the pressure right. And this one's complete to Seth Roberts. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 44-yard line. I think it all came together there. In-breaking route, drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. There's a throw over the middle. It's taken in by his tight end. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That's good for 28 yards. They run. It's Mark Ingram. And he'll get about three as he's taken down at the 14-yard line. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock, you control the ball, and that way you often control the game. Steps away. He'll try and run it. He'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. It's a game of five. The Panthers turn to their nickel set here as they get ready for third down. 
They'll try to run for the first with Ingram. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. Mark Ingram taking it in as his guys are on the board here in this first quarter. Solid job up front. Really just a solid job all the way around to get that one in. Yeah, that was well executed, wasn't it? Well blocked, well run. End result, six points. Touchdown. Tucker with the extra point, and that'll cut it to three at 10-7. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. That's fielded in the end zone. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way. That doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Run what you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. Try to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. Ten seven, our score after one right here on EA Sports. to the ground on first. It's McCaffrey. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. Give him 18. It's a Carolina first down. Consecutive plays now where that offensive line has really created a lot of space. And we've seen the confidence rise, haven't we? It borders on arrogance now, and that's that good arrogance, believing you can run the football whenever you get good and ready. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Out of the pistol, McCaffrey. Patrick Onwasor up to make the tackle. Partner, I think from our experience together, we have learned that most offensive coordinators are going to tell you if I'm going to run the football on first down, I've got to get at least four yards. They got five here. They've got to feel pretty good about that one. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Oh, yeah. Here we go again. Here we go again. McCaffrey on the counter. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. And he will have the first before he's brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. Well, someone's been having a good game so far. And you know something? A lot of it's been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. From the red zone now, Newton. Looking left side, that's caught by Moore. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Brings up second and two at the 12-yard line. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. Newton now to throw. 
That's complete right around the eight. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. Catch number four for him on the afternoon, and it'll give him a first down. Try to run with McCaffrey. And he goes backwards on this one. Losing yardage to the seven. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. Uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to hold him to something a little more advantageous. And he'll be stopped up after only a couple of yards as he gets it down to the five. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. They come out here in the eye. This has been a long drive. You got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? Here's Newton. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. Only able to get back a yard for his efforts, and that leads us to fourth down. Well, partner, nothing comes open here, so he decides to escape out of there, and he doesn't pick up a first down, but he does gain additional yardage to set up a possible field goal attempt if they decide to go that route. So the field goal there caps what winds up to be an 11-play drive. Well, partner, that's a lot of offense to run there to only get three points. So I just wonder, are they going to recycle those plays because they were successful in getting three? Or do you go to another section of the playbook trying to find ones that get you into the end zone and get you six? And the decision to bring it out will cost him about five yards as he'll get this only back to the 20. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. Looking to throw on second down. Jackson forced out to his left. And that's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact, no call, and it's third down. So he can't hang on, and as I watch that unfold, I remembered an expression that I've heard, maybe from you, I don't know, but you're going to get hit anyways, might as well hold on to the ball. All right, you know a coach <laughs> said that, right? Yeah. Not an actual player? Not a chance at all. Way easier said than done. Here's Jackson. He's going to air one out. Trying for Brown, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the safety, Eric Reed. You don't see this often. A quarterback of his caliber, two first-half interceptions. It's absolutely surprising because it happens so rarely. You're searching for what reason, what's going on out there. It's not just maybe the defense is playing well. Is this horoscope ball? Is bio rhythms? What is it? You went horoscope on us, David. Well, I was thinking maybe REM sleep was off. I'm trying to come up with something. <laughs> Anything, right? 11 yards and a Panther first down. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion. So here's second and four. Now it's Newton. He's got a man on the crossing route. That's Moore. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 30. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Hey, hey, 
Now with Toss, this is McCaffrey. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Well, with the kind of half he's had, I think we can forgive him that run, right? Not every run's going to be a big play, is it? No, and also the blocking just wasn't there. No room to run. Yeah, defensively, they got to find a way to build on that because he's eating them alive in the first half. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. They got to get to the 20 to keep the drive alive on third down. Let's go. 48, 48, right here, right here. 48, 48, come on. 48. From the gun, here's Newton. Flush to his right. He may try and run for this. And he takes it down to the 10 yard line. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts as it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. A first down carry for Davis. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. And his kick is good. And that will do it for this first half. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down, two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors. But overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up. And we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. Again, they'll run with Ingram. And he'll be taken down right around the 34 after a pickup of only a yard. The good run on first down followed up by a not-so-good run on second down. Now let's find out they're going to stick with the run here on third down. A lot of people would love to see some play action here. I say go with your best running play over your best blocker. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. On third down, Mark Ingram. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. Give him six yards in the first down. I know the game's changed. A lot of people would say it's evolved. Look, I'm a little bit Neanderthal, okay? I love this. No exotic formations, no misdirection. Just line up and run the darn ball, pick up the first down. I love it. Yeah, third and short, that's what you're supposed to do. Like you said, old school smash mouth football. This is Ingram on first and 10. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. It's a pickup of 11 and a Baltimore first down. First downs have not come easy, and neither have runs like this throughout this game. Absolutely not. He finally felt like, whoa, a sigh of relief. We got something going in the running game. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. They will get four yards here on the first down run, and that'll make it second and six. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. On second down, it's Edwards. 
And they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. Call it a gain of a yard, and it's going to bring up third and five. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. From the gun, Jackson. He can run for it, and he will. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 35. How many times do we hear that third down may be the most important down in football? And there's no better example than what we just saw right there. Forced to scramble, knows where the first down marker is, dives for it, and gets it. What a big-time play, putting his body on the line to pick up a key first down. And on the tackle there, Luke Keekley. When we talk about Luke Keekley, you can't talk about his overall game without talking about his intelligence and how he controls the whole defense. He quarterbacks that defense and at times will actually make checks just like a quarterback would on offense to get him into the right defense. They definitely were on that play. How about that finish? Holding that to a minimal game. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. They'll run on first down. It's Ingram, and he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. Mark Ingram, his second touchdown of the afternoon, as they have now chopped this lead down to three. Tucker now to add the point after. And it's good. It cuts it to two. 16-14 our score. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Out of the gun, Newton. And this is caught. It's Greg Olson. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. McCaffrey. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. 13 yards, first down, Panthers. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 43. They try and run on first down, but this one's going to lose a couple yards as they get him behind the line. That sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. On second down, McCaffrey. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Call it no gain there, and now they're looking at a third and 13. The Ravens bring out an extra defensive back here on third. Throwing is Newton. And he's got his target. That's more. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 25-yard line. Well, partner, when you ask anyone other than your QB to throw the ball, 
you must have a lot of confidence or you think you're really going to fake them out. And it looks like they did exactly that. Yeah, going deep in the playbook and a great grab on the other end. On first down, it's Davis. They'll be brought down at the 21 after a pickup of four. We have played three quarters. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Another run, this time McCaffrey. And an alley to run. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. The pickup goes for 13 and sets him up first and goal. Do my eyes deceive me or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. This is McCaffrey, and maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Well, partner, I guess sometimes it's just a matter of philosophy. Some say run until they absolutely stop you, and others say, well, when you think they're about to stop you, fool them a little bit. I guess they should have tried to fool them on that play. This drive's taken more than three minutes off the clock already as they come up on second down. Now a run with McCaffrey. And from the nine, they get this to the five-yard line. The recipe's pretty simple, I think, right? Just <laughs> give your superstar the ball, continue to feed him. It, yeah, don't overthink this one, right? Make sure he's touching the football, but you're also counting on his intelligence and in playing the game as well. If it's not there, don't force the run. Just make sure you hang on to the football and keep the clock ticking. McCaffrey. And he's going to be taken down here, still a couple yards short of the first. This defense bending but not breaking. It's a gain of three. It's now fourth and goal. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. From the left hash, he'll have to cut this at a tight angle. And his kick is indeed good. And that will push the lead up to five. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, it's a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because <laughs> they'd feel a whole lot better about their position. On a touchdown in the other direction, all of a sudden, they're down. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And now last drive so successful with the ground game, ending in a touchdown. Do you stick with that formula? That would be the number one thing you would think of. But so many guys now would look at it. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Brian Burns. It'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop him. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. To throw is Jackson. Eluding the pressure right. Now he'll pull it down. And now look at this. Big gain, but a fumble. But this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. I don't know about you, but I could hear and feel the sigh of relief all the way up here in our booth. That yeah, was palpable. The sideline, the friend there. No doubt about it. Ball goes over the sideline, able to retain possession. No turnover. <laughs> I know his coach is screaming, just hang on to the ball, man. Flushed out right. He's going deep for Brown. And this is caught. Touchdown, Baltimore. Marquise Brown, 58 yards. And the Ravens have taken the lead. Might be seeing that one on the highlight shows tonight. The home run ball here in the fourth quarter to take the lead. There's nothing like being aggressive, preaching that to your team, and then following through. All the way through. Go ahead and throw one more up there. Why not? 
Been a great game, and we are not done yet. All right, now a big two-point conversion attempt still to come. Now it's Jackson sliding out of the pocket. And he will get into the end zone to extend the lead by two more. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point kicker. Exactly. He put it through the post. That's going to help him at contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him at contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. <laughs> toe bash. I don't know about toe that. Bash. <laughs> Super toe. The clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. Newton to throw. That's caught. It's Jarius Wright. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Here's Newton. Throw left side complete. That's more. No gain there on the completion. Second and ten. Well, the stats that matter on this play don't help a team very much, unless, of course, you're playing defense. If you're getting points per reception, you got a reception, but... Yeah. No yardage. Great job by the defense, though. They they read through that one. They read through it, gave up no yardage, and people got credit for tackles. Pretty good deal. Had the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and ten. Newton's pass is on target to Moore, and he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 21. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. They'll run with McCaffrey, and he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. Marcus Peters up to make the tackle. And that's one of the reasons you like to blitz even on rundowns. It confuses the blocking assignments. It doesn't allow those offensive linemen to get up to the second level. Well, they don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. They keep it on the ground. This time it's Davis. And he'll take it from the 18 to the 15. A gain of three. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So it's Panther football as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Third down, here's McCaffrey. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. And quickly, we're going to get another stop here with 1.54 left as they call the timeout defensively. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. And his kick is right there. It's good. And we are all tied here in the final stages. So yet another field goal to end a drive. That has been a very common theme. He's now hit five of them in this game. Yeah, Brandon, as an offense, you hate that you've had to call on your kicker so often. But you have to love the fact that time and time again, he's come through. Now, 
The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked. But you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Here's Jackson. Escaping the pressure right. This one complete to Ingram. Call it a gain of three. And all of a sudden here, it's third down. It drives some people crazy to see those short throws underneath. They've got to find a way to gash the defense downfield. Flush to his right. He may try and run for this. Lamar Jackson, such a threat with those legs, able to improvise and get the first. How many times have we seen this late in the fourth quarter? Because you know the pass rush is getting after him, and they get upfield, get that great push, and what do they create? Space, and he takes off. Jackson to throw. And an alley to run. Yeah, that play is blown up. Losing yardage back at the 35. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. <laughs> Throwing now is Jackson. Eluding the pressure right. He's going to take off with it. He's got a first down and then some at midfield. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. I guess no need to force it when you can do that instead. First down, 18-yard gain. On first and 10, it's Jackson. Steps away to his left. And he'll be forced out of bounds, shy of the line of scrimmage, so that'll be credited as a sack. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. To throw again on second down. Jackson flushed out right. It's brought in here by Willie Sneed. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 24-yard line. And now they're going to get the timeout. So a huge play has them in field goal range with a chance to possibly send this one to OT. So it's up now to one of the most accurate kickers in NFL history, Justin Tucker. And a timeout comes in. The whistles blow with three seconds remaining. So it's up now to one of the most accurate kickers in NFL history, Justin Tucker. With three seconds to go, this for the win. And he got it. Justin Tucker boots it through and plays the role of hero. And joy will reign in the inner...